My name is Tegan Phillips and I'm a cartoonist and a writer and I love riding my bike as far and long as I can. In 2015, my family and I spent a year cycling through Africa and that year I watched Keegan Mangira set the men's record and then Mark Beaumont went and smashed that record and then suddenly Coyote Cape Town became this massive trend and like the Swift guys did it and Jonas Dykeman did it and Michael Strasser and the whole time I was watching this and waiting for a woman to do it and to have a kind of woman's element in this whole story that was evolving and it just didn't happen. So I'm going to do it. Do you think you could beat Mark Beaumont's record? I think I would like to. I don't know if I 100% can, but if not me, I think there is definitely a woman out there who can. I think I just want to be the first one to give it a shot. Have you applied to Guinness yet? Yes, I have actually applied to Guinness. Uh, it was kind of an accident, but um, yes. <laughs> was it an accident? I was trying to find out what the women's record was, and then I wanted to find out what the rules were. And they're like, we'll send you the rules if you apply, kind of. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I applied. Like, I was literally just procrastinating. I was supposed to be doing other work. And then I was like, I think I just applied to set the record. <laughs> That's what I've learned from women like Lil and Fiona and Leah. When I see them doing these crazy things, it just changes my whole idea of what's possible for me to even like attempt to do, not just in cycling, but in everything. And I think now I want to be a part of that, like for other women. Of course it's scary, but I think that's an important part of it. It's like the fear and the unknown and the possibility of things going wrong, very wrong. I think most things in life that are like worth doing will have all of those elements. And then if you really want them anyway, you just have to commit and do it. They can't not be a woman's record. <laughs> Is that your message then? To just do it? Um, I think the message I would want to come from Adventures would be whenever you hear in your ear the whisper of some kind of crazy idea, don't doubt you're to this or to that or just to this adventure was chosen especially for you. So begin with your plans, your diagrams and your dreams and don't feel bad when they laugh at your schemes just get going, keep going. And when you feel stuck and you think the adventure gods don't give up, damn, remember, it's part of the fun for things to go wrong. Otherwise, how could we ever get brave and get strong? Yes, despite how it seems, these things in the sky are cheering us on. So we might as well try. Take as long as you need to sit down and cry, but then get your butt right back up and hold your head high. Because even if you think that your quest feels small, with every step forward, you're crushing a wall. And with every wall crushed, your life grows a bit more, until you look back and can hardly believe how it once was before. So say yes, next time you hear that call. Say, okay, I'll try. And then get out that door. And when people come saying, for you, this can't be, just say, is it humanly possible? Because if it is, then so long as I'm human, it's possible for me.